And Kelly, with all of this construction, I mean, even looking at the live cameras today, it was a, a beautiful sight to see. But, you know, yes. once that construction starts, some drivers could I know. be in for some headaches. It's a little frustrating. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those crank up the radio yes. and roll down the windows. <laughs> enjoy, yes, enjoy the fresh air because it really has been a beautiful day today. And we're going to have some comfortable temperatures for the next couple of days before more heat and humidity arrives. I'll get to that in a moment. Here's a look at our Tipton cam. You can see we have just a few high cirrus clouds out there. If we head to Brown County, we have a few of those fair weather cumulus clouds, a beautiful view there as well. When we take a look at our visible satellite, this gives us an idea of what those clouds look like. Really beautiful out there, and we're going to see those clouds dissipating, and then we'll see clouds returning ahead of this next system that we're watching off to the west. So this is our next weather maker. We have a, a boundary that will move in that will trigger possibly some showers. Just not a lot of moisture to work with here in central Indiana because we've had high pressure. We've had very dry air in place and temperatures climbed into the upper 70s today, but now we're down to 75 degrees in Muncie, 74 in Kokomo, 73 degrees is the current temperature in Greencastle. It's going to be a beautiful evening, mild with the clouds around. Temperatures will fall to around 66 degrees by 11 p.m. this evening and then back into the low 60s first thing tomorrow morning. Now we are tracking some shower activity. I think tomorrow morning will stay dry. Future Track 13 tries to bring in some light rain during the morning, mid morning hours, and then we are going to see a little bit better chance during the afternoon. So here's a look at Future Track starting at 7 a.m. I think the best chance of rain is really going to be south of I 70, where we have that boundary just kind of diving to the south. So very widely spread shower activity. Most areas will actually stay dry tomorrow afternoon. So if you are heading to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400, maybe a spotty shower, but the good news is we're not even expecting any kind of stormy activity. No lightning associated with it. We just don't really have the instability in the atmosphere. We don't have a lot of moisture to work with either, but we'll keep a chance of a shower too. It will be cooler and it will be cloudy. So really should be some great racing out there tomorrow with that temperature around 73 degrees by mid-afternoon. As we get into tomorrow evening, we'll keep a chance of a shower or two, but again, very low chances. The clouds will be around Monday morning, and then as we get into Monday afternoon, we're going to see this clearing back out again, and temperatures are going to warm back up again, closer to normal for this, ta this time of year. We'll see a high near 78 degrees in Kokomo, 80 degrees in Shelbyville. It'll be a high of 80 in Greencastle. Now, we are going to see more heat and more humidity arriving by the middle of the week. The dew points will start to get into those mid-60s by Tuesday, Wednesday, we're forecasting dew points to be in those sticky 70 degree range. So we're going to be tracking more middle of July heat, but tomorrow cloudy and cool, chance of a few spotty showers, 73 the high. Monday, gradual clearing to some sunshine, 80 degrees, 87 by the time we get into Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, highs near 90 degrees. We do have a chance of some showers on Wednesday and then again on Friday, a little bit cooler now for next weekend. Karen?